Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about a serious problem that I had with my PSP and I wanted to discuss that in this video. I really like the response I got on my last vlog on a question that I answered from a fellow viewer. So thank you guys so much for the support and for showing me that it was a video that's worth watching. So I've been having a lot of issues with my custom themes and Unfortunately, those custom themes are corrupted and I'm trying my hardest to fix these problems. And anytime I loaded a custom theme, I would get a frozen screen. And not only did it affect all of my PSPs with these themes, well, actually it only affected one and I used that one PSP to transfer all my files to my other consoles and I was having the same issue, so those files were corrupted. And I'll talk about how I got that uh, corruption or that nasty virus on all of my files. So here's my PS Vita running Adrenaline, which is the PSP interface on the Vita. It's very cool, really awesome application. So you can see that it's completely frozen there, and it did affect my Vita themes as well. So I transferred those themes onto my Vita not knowing and now that I'm looking at it I'm like okay this is a problem and I need to talk about this. So how did I get those viruses? How did I get those corrupted files? Now I was messing around with an application that I forgot what it did and I just got rid of it completely because it was just really nasty application where I don't know it was doing something of reading my memory card and it was taking way too long, like longer than it should have. And what I did was I tried to power it off and it completely froze my PSP. I was scared that it was going to break it. But, I mean, we can always unbreak our system going through recovery menu or using a uh, Pandora's battery. So, yeah, that was unfortunate that that happened. And I noticed that my games were not working. Fortunately... I backed up my memory stick before performing this and I always do that anytime I'm installing a plugin, an application or games that work perfectly fine and then I'll back that up to my main folder on my PC. And I can't stress that enough guys, always back up your files because you never know when something like this will happen. And it was just a nasty problem that I've been dealing with and that's why I haven't done PSP content. and. Why not talk about this issue with you guys? So I deleted all my games and I thought it was just going to affect the games only or that plugin and other plugins were making my PSP slower than usual too and I did not like that. So I got rid of all those plugins. I got rid of all my games. I reinstalled everything and then I go through my themes and I was creating videos where I would showcase a certain theme but my PSP kept freezing. So I was like, what is going on? And I was having this problem with everything that I was trying to load. So a game, a plugin I was trying to run, and now themes, I'm like, what's going on here? I kept resetting my PSPs and I was still having that same problem. So what could it be? I finally figured out that all of my files on that memory card were corrupted. And what I did was I used that memory card. And what I do is this, guys. I basically have one PSP with everything on it and I test everything out and once everything is good I make two backups so I make my main backup and then I make the memory card copy so with the memory card copy I grab those files and throw them into other uh, micro SD cards into adapters and move them to my other PSP consoles that way I can just pick up whichever console I'd like to play, like the Ceramic White, uh, the PSP 3000 Silver, or whatever I have that I want to play. And that way I'm just not, you know, moving memory cards in and out. And I thought that would be just cool to have every PSP have the same files and the same games. So as I was doing that, I didn't realize that the themes were corrupted and I threw them onto my PS Vita and now I'm having the same issues. So I'll be going through my Vita and deleting all those themes and reinstalling the ones that I fixed. So why am I talking about this? Why the reason for this video? You guys have to be very careful, extremely careful when it comes to loading homebrew plugins, old applications and stuff that 
may not run on 6.60 or 6.61 and you're assuming hey my PSP is unlocked it's it's ready to go it has custom firmware it's hacked let's use this plugin let's use this app and see what happens you don't want to do that because then you're going to have that problem that I've been having with corrupted files but I did do a stupidest thing where I was trying to turn my PSP off so never 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 do that and I'll try to talk about that in another video on things you shouldn't do when messing with your PSP but yeah guys be very careful with applications and plugins if you have any questions just please comment down below and we'll try to review as much as we can here on the channel and I try to bring you guys PSP content that works right I'm not always uploading PSP content constantly talking about every single thing because I have to do extensive testing and to make sure that it works and that way you're not coming across any problems while using it obviously I'm not uh, responsible for anything that happens to your PSP and you know you're taking that risk for yourself so I'm just warning you guys to be very careful when going through all those homebrew uh, sites and downloading all sorts of random crap if you do want to try some new application that I never covered or another YouTuber that I didn't cover at all, you can run it off another memory card if you have an extra one. Just throw it on there, see what happens, go through it. Hopefully, it doesn't break your uh, PSP completely, hopefully. But yeah, I would recommend that. Try another memory card or another PSP. So make sure to back up everything, guys. I hope this video was somewhat informative. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please comment down below and let me know if there's something you'd like for me to cover in a video that would be really awesome so thank you so much for watching guys take care and i'll see you on the next one hey everyone thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you enjoy my content please hit that subscription button here on my face and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future and if you're looking for psp content i have that playlist right here for you and PS Vita content right down below that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.